me like <laughs> What is up, Bookineers? This is your boy Bookie here, and today I'm gonna be doing a tutorial video for you guys. I'm gonna be showing you how to make um, your own outro picture, well, a picture outro like this one. Um, this is the outro that I use on my videos, and we're gonna make something similar to this. And I'm gonna show you how to do it in this video. So let's get started. All right, first of all, you're gonna need a program called Paint.net. Paint.net is a free software that um, you can use to um, edit any templates, I mean, edit any pictures you want. Um, you can make thumbnails, <coughs> excuse me, you can make thumbnails, you can do anything you want on Paint.net. Paint.net is awesome, man. man um, let's see, right, but to get started, we're going to go ahead and open up Paint.net. Like I said, it's free, and um, you get me plugins, go ahead and get some plugins for it. Um, go to file, go to new file, and then go ahead and put it on 1080p. Oops, 1080p to buy 720. And then click OK, and it's gonna resize it for you. Now you wanna go on good old Google, little Google master right here. Yeah, all right, and then once you're on Google, type in um, Space Cat. Please. Cat. All right, yeah. See, so you got space cash right here. Now that one I like a lot, actually. Um, let's see here. Go ahead and get it up. This one. Yeah, this is about ten. This is about ten. Okay. Um. So just get a picture like this. I'm gonna use this one because it's freaking awesome. Go to view image. <coughs> Go to and wait, and wait for the image to load. I'm downloading Warframe right now, so it's like not it's gonna take a little while for me. Alright, I just zoom in on it, but you know, because and then we're gonna save images and it's gonna be called Space Cat 2 because you know it's the name came with it. And then you can um while you're on Google, um go ahead and get your logos like um logo um you would type in your Twitter, your Facebook, whatever you got, just go ahead and um let's see transparent Transparent Vegeta SSJ Super Saiyan and what you would do is you would go here and just click the transparent image like right here I have Goku transparent there was white blocky stuff right there but because I use a transparent image you can't really see it it just goes to the rest of the picture now um, once you get all your once you get all of your um, logos from the different um, sites like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, so forth. I'm gonna come back here, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna find out on um, where you put your space cat at. Let's go to my pictures rack right fast and look for a space cat. All right, wait, he's not just fast. Yeah, here he is. And then you just wanna um, copy that. Come back over here, go to edit, then paste it into the back. You are going to scale it down, so get a corner of it and just scale it down. And once you scale it down, just kind of line it up. I'm going to move these out of the way so I can actually see what I'm doing. like that you take it pull it down <laughs> stretch this face out all right now what you want to do is you want to get a new layer and then in this new layer you are going to go back here. Uh, I'm going back to your background layer and then select it uh -huh. and then make a square big enough for your video to go in and like I'm gonna put it on this side it's big enough for your video to go in 
and then just click the delete key on your keyboard now see how that's transparent what you're gonna do is go into layer 2 then you're once you're in layer 2 you're gonna come pick the thing this um, shape tool make sure it's on rectangle and then up the width a little bit I meant yeah width and then make sure that the color of it is white or whatever color you want to make it and then just outline that I got a little bit too much of it. Okay, I'll hide it. And then what you want to do is you want to take it, and go to effects, object line. This is the plugins I was talking about. Drop shadow, make the drop shadow black, and then make the brightening and radius. And there you go. Now, I like the way that looks. Uh, I like it a lot. And then just merge these two layers together, make a new layer. Now this is the part where you would start putting your text and your logos. So down here, we have after the down here below the video, I would just put something like first I use different font, and then I'll up the font, and make it bigger, like you know, random video, random video, up the font size. And then just put it right here. Then I would um, come down here and put thanks for watching. And then go to uh, um, effects, object align, center horizontally for that. Okay, there we go. And now you got your random right there, you got that right there. And while you're on this layer, go ahead and um, all the logos that you downloaded, just go ahead and put those in there. Like right now, I got this logo from my website. I'm not going to really use it though. I'm just going to use the Google Plus um, thing. And you're just going to copy it and then um, edit, paste it in this layer. And then just scale it down and do the same thing for all of your... Um, if they're not already a good size to put in there, just scale them down to what you would want them to be. And then just put them anywhere and like, you know, wherever you want them. Not right here though, but like anywhere on the side, obviously. Then once you got that, I'm just going to add one, but you would add all of them right there. And then you just got to go to effects, and then you got to go to object, drop shadow. And then, um, it's going to add a drop shadow around them. I shouldn't have done that. Like, cancel that. Make sure that you don't have anything selected so it all drops shadows evenly. Alright, um, back to object, drop shadow. Now, it's not all squarish right there, it's a complete circle. And, okay. Now, see how everything's like nice and you can see it, actually see everything. I know at first you couldn't. And then, you just take this, um, I'm not gonna save it, but that's how you do it. And then you'd wind up, once you finish, you'll wind up with something like this. And then what you would do is you would take that, and I use Sony Vegas to edit my videos. And you would just take it, put it in Sony Vegas, and um, let me see, wait for a Sony Vegas to load. And then you would just take it, let's see, um, do I got a video, here's some Black Ops 3 gameplay right here. Take the image that you made, so I'm just going to take mine right here, and then take both of these, put them in Sony Vegas, why is it on video effects, project media, and there we go, like, the intro has got to be on, I mean, the yeah, outro has got to be on, on the top part, You want to set your perfect video settings to match the video. Yes. And there you go. Oh, wait. I put both of them on at the same time. Didn't I? Yeah, I did. I did. Alright, anyway, well, the video is right there. And the image is right here. Yeah. So you just move the video down. And then just put it right there. No, the video goes on top. I don't mind that. Video 
video goes on top. And then once you're right here, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna do the outro at the end. And see, make it bigger just for the purpose of this video. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna select the video, go to the crop tab right there, and then just scale it all the way down. See. Right here, let's try the thing and just slide it in there. I'm not gonna get it perfect because you know I'm not really editing this one, but um, that's it for the video. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, and then I'll see you Buccaneers later. Peace.